Greetings, Williams, and welcome to another... I've tried to record this so many times, I'm missing if I still have tea. I still have a little bit of tea. Um, I've botched this video so many times that it's funny. Uh, total recording time has to go over 60 minutes, so let's try this one more time. And this is actually the Anything But Books tag. And we're going to talk about anything but books. And although probably books will figure in some way or another. So question number one. Name a cartoon that you love. I'm a huge fan of cartoons. And I'm not going to mention just one. I'm going to mention a ton. Because I love cartoons. Um, from the 80s. Thundercats. He-Man. Um, Transformers. G.I. Joe actually sucks. But uh, you know. Uh, the movie is awesome, but the, the 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 serial episodes, Jesus Christ, I, I I remember them fondly, and as an adult, I saw them again. And I was I was like, wow, even the movies make more sense, which is saying something. But I'm fan of more obscure stuff like the movie Unico, like Messenger, El Festival de los Robots, and El Galactico in Spanish, which are anime that were adapted, and actually the. The voiceovers were pretty cool. Um, what else? And Beetlejuice in the 90s was fun. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was obviously awesome. Uh, Peanuts. I love Peanuts. I'm a big fan of Underdog is here. Underdog and Super Chicken and all those crazy, crazy commercial uh, commercials. Uh, cartoons. Uh, what else? I like more obscure stuff, like I said. Sky Commanders was pretty obscure, and the toys were awesome. Uh, Tiger Sharks were also an 80s. Tiger Sharks and Cops were were night, uh, 80s, 90s uh, cartoons that, that were short-lived but very fun. And that's just to give you an idea. I'm also a fan of anime and, and you know, old anime at that. Uh, one of my main goals with with the books the current manuscript i just finished is to get it animated my dream is the boy who dreams about flying to be done by studio ghibli that is actually one of my dreams and who knows i i put it all out there and i know this is anything but books but i had to mention that because you mentioned cartoons and i think cartoons are a very important part of my life and on the life in the lives of many people in the world in general and art i think it's it's something that we, sh we should explore and indulge in more. Question number two. What is your favorite song right now? Uh, Gentle Storm by Elbow. Guy Garvey and the boys have done a stellar job with their new album. That song is just so catchy. And just if you want to start the day shaking that ass and smiling, it's just a perfect option. Uh, Marion Hill's Down is, is a pretty fun song as well. Life on Planet Nine has a song that I was listening to a lot. I always listen to a lot of Pearl Jam, but one song that that one song that really stands out is is Gentle Storm. Question number three: What could you do for hours that isn't reading? Making love? <laughs> Not really. Uh, <laughs> but no. Uh, play guitar. A uh, bodyboard surfing. Uh, you know, being in the waves and talking. Those three things I could do for hours easily. Uh, as you can see, I talk a lot. But uh, some of my f best memories in my life are conversations, and that's always going to probably hold true. <coughs> and question number four, what is something you love to do that your followers would be surprised by? Um, I'm pretty open about the things that I love, so... You know what I do enjoy? This is weird, but it is true. I do enjoy uh, washing dishes uh, dishes by hand. It is soothing, and I always... I actually worked at a restaurant two nights on one occasion. They were short, and they were short on staff, and the, the dishwasher called in sick, and they were like, you want to do it? And, like, really set skeptical. And I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. It was a really good learning experience. Uh, the most basic thing about that learning experience, if you're going to wash that many dishes, use gloves. Um, don't be afraid to ask for a clean dish because they know that they're pumping them out quicker than they should. 
um, I was trying to make the dishes as clean as possible, and they were like, <coughs> speed up. But I do enjoy doing the dishes, and it's something that I've enjoyed since I was like 15 when I and I would stay alone at, at our beach apartment in Isla Verde. Uh, it was just something that I really found therapeutic, and it's water and cleansing, so why not? And question number five, what is your favorite unnecessarily specific thing to learn about? This can do with books. I like to see how much someone else mentioned this. I've seen so many of these videos and, and this tag that I'm not sure who mentioned it, but I also like to see how much a movie has grossed and or, or the progress of how it's going. Um, I'm always going to be rooting for a movie, a good movie to overcome Avatar. Um, it's a big challenge. Uh, I'm not fond of Avatar. But I'm, uh, I like finding out specific things and research about different things. And normally what happens is that I find something interesting and then I go down the rabbit hole for hours just reading random miscellaneous stuff because that's how I feed the brain. Um, so I can't say a specific thing, but I like learning about botany, um, beer fermentation process, uh, architecture, history, geography, topography, science in general. Uh, the more specific, the better. Sometimes I like something broad. I just like information a lot. Uh, question number six. What is something unusual you know how to do? I actually learned how, and this is a fun fact, I actually learned how to uh, whistle when I was 26. Whistle meaning... <whistles> but as a kid, I could do this. <whistles> And when you're a kid and you want to be, you want to misbehave, it's a good tool because you can be writing and and you don't move your mouth. So, yeah, luckily it never got me into trouble, but something that I learned how to do. Question number seven. Name something you've made in the last year. If you saw the thumbnail, well, you, you'll see a couple of things. I'll do the book thing quickly. I don't have all the books that I did in last year, but I did this. My first poetry collection in Spanish, Te Amo Mama. This was for mom. I will be doing more Spanish stuff. And my second novel, Shadow of a Human. Non-book related stuff. If you follow me in any other social media, you'll see some really random stuff. Instagram and Twitter, I do a lot of random stuff. Uh, because I like to keep it fun. I do Sky Thoughts. I take uh, pictures every every Wednesday, and I do a message with wherever my mind uh, is at or where, where I want to get it. Uh, there's art to be seen in your life sky. Give thanks for the masterpiece that is every day. That's pretty much it. Next to it is the dictionary, which is bounty, the reward found within a perfectly brewed cuppa to be enjoyed at a leisurely pace, to savor the moment and appreciate life's simple pleasures. That's that, and then the visual typos, Th that's ghost. These are just fun things that I like to do to keep myself occupied and keep the brain going. <coughs> it's been a while since I do a couple of them, but they do take effort. I'm not the most, the quickest or most adept artist, so it does take time. I also do El Dude. And it says, hi, uh, hashtag El Dude. If you want to look for it, hashtag El Dude, E-L-D-O-O-D. Uh, uh, wishes and dreams have, uh, love to play in the clouds. So if you see someone daydreaming, share a smile for the road. Just random stuff. And I'm really proud every time I do this. It is a wave and it is Twist. And Twist is my little friend. He hangs out with me on occasion, and he always comes with me to Puerto Rico Comic Con. But since the beach is not really near where I'm at in Georgia, uh, this does help a bit. So yeah, that's those are some of the things that I've done the last year. I've also composed and written lyrics for music, and yeah, just just keeping it fun and keep myself guessing. Uh, question number eight, what is your most recent personal project? And those are several. Um, the blank comics, 
I did a video on that. Please check it and save me the trouble because I'm tired. I'm actually finishing a manuscript, two manuscripts and two poetry collections, and I'm doing other stuff, which is, you know, that's those are personal projects. And I will be finishing my move from Puerto Rico as soon as I have the, the monetary means to do it. So, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to the gym, but, you know, I don't think that's a personal project. I think that's that's part of me being able to push harder. So. Mm, question number nine. Tell us something you think about often. Uh, life, existence, um, why we're here, humanity, what's, what makes us human, how can we be better humans, what ways can I have a positive impact. I do dedicate... A lot of time to that and so my, my comments try to be supportive or engage in a conversation uh, I've gotten to a point in my life where I wanted to have a positive impact for the longest time I was pretty negative and just grouchy and stuff and it's still fun but I would easily get in a bad mood and I don't want to live that way you know it it takes a certain degree of, of brain power to be cynical but it takes a big heart um, and good intentions to to try to be optimistic that's super creepy and that happens every every once in a while it's late in the office and I wanted to do this video so let's hope that you can hear this because I don't want to re-record this again uh, so I'll be quick wow and that's loud try to imagine late at night I've been here working late at night and that just comes on it's like ah it's creepy uh, question number 10, give us something that's your favorite, but make it something oddly specific, not like your favorite food, but like your favorite food when you've been studying for hours and forgot to eat or, you know, something like that. Uh, my favorite soda to drink when I'm flying is ginger ale. It's part of a tradition that I've upheld for m m pretty much my entire conscious life. Uh, I don't normally buy ginger ale when I'm uh, on land. <laughs> It's just something that I like to enjoy at 32 or 35 or 38,000 feet. Uh, and that's pretty much it. As for people who I tag, uh, Nash the Book Bat uh, recently did uh, a video, so I do hope she's back. She's a sweetheart. Uh, Karen at Run Right Reads, I tag her a lot, but she's just so cool. And I just, you know, just those nice people that you want to get a perspective of what they do beyond the books. Uh, Nicole from Who Picked This Book, also a very lovely booktuber. Sage from Sage Knows Best. She's a sweetheart, and I think she has some really interesting things to do. Uh, ben Sanders, uh, he's really into book stuff, and I want to see that other, other side of him. And... I'm tempted to tag Anais uh, from Anais Believe Again because she's like one of the most eclectic people I know. So I'll, I'll tag you, Anais. I don't want to super constantly tag you, but you have really, really fascinating answers. And I think you have really fascinating, you will have fascinating things to say about this tag. So with the last sip of tea, which is kind of cold, still works. I bid you adieu and peace, love, and mighty roads.